Good morning, traders. This is Frank Charlie with RJO Futures in Chicago, coming to you on Friday, July 20th with your grain market morning commentary. Currently, we have grains trading higher across the board. Corn, however, into September, just five higher, but if you go out to December or even March, it's more like 15 higher. Um, into soybeans, we're 25 to 30 higher, and into wheat, we're just three to five higher. In the outside markets this morning, it's mostly a risk off today. Uh, lower uh, in the energies, the metals, the equities, we see the dollar trading higher and the treasuries trading higher. That's the safe haven trades. Um, into corn, December contract has not yet been able to breach that $8 level. We saw September corn trade uh, 8.16 and, and a fraction or so, but December has not been able to get above that level. And we, we saw some profit taking there. Um, at, at these historically high levels, profit taking is bound to take place. We also have confirmation that we are seeing um, demand erosion at these levels. That's what the market's job is to do. You know, when uh, we're alerted that we have a su supply problem like we do now, the price uh, moves sharply higher. We've seen that move. And then at some point, what happens is demand backs off, production increases. We're already talking about uh, the 2013 corn crop being somewhere around 100 million acres. I don't know where those acres are coming from, but that's the talk right now. And this is how the market functions. It's doing its job. At some point, prices do come down. Yes, we have a severe drought, maybe the worst we've seen in, uh, I don't know, 40, 50 years, but the market is doing what it's supposed to do. So uh, we do have uh, slowing demand. We do have historical high levels. We do see a little bit of profit taking up here. We're going to have to keep an eye on the market um, as far as weather goes because that's what it's all about right now. Keep an eye on the weather. Beans are the big mover right now. Corn was the leader initially. Beans are the ones leading the way now because we're starting to reach that point of no return as far as yield uh, uh, destruction goes. Um, this crop is entering its uh, critical stage of development, its reproductive stage, and again, it's getting to the point where another week or two and the damage is irreversible. So soybeans are uh, starting to see a lot of appreciation at these levels. Again, these are very historical levels. We have a big open interest position there. Um, these markets are technically overbought and susceptible to um, a severe and sharp correction. Again, at this point, we're saying Corrections are probably buy opportunities, but keep in mind these are historic levels. The outside markets are kind of weak. The global economy is, is, you know, very slow at best. So it would be hard to support much higher food prices in this environment, but we have a drought. Um, what we're seeing in the wheat is increasing feed demand. Because corn prices have been so high, we're seeing a shift, uh, you know, for feed demand to the wheat. And also there's some concerns about the global supply coming out of Ukraine and the former Soviet Union. So again, let's keep an eye on what's going on there. Uh, for the time being, um, you know, wheat is mostly a follower, but there are some uh, supply concerns there moving forward longer term. Um, Monday, we have the weekly crop condition update. Traders are pricing in further deterioration in the crop. Maybe we get another surprise like we had this past week where it's worse than what we thought. Maybe it's better. I don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see. So Fridays and Mondays could be a little dicey in the grain markets with the weather and with the crop conditions. So uh, just keep an eye on those things. Feel free to give me a call, 800-826-4124. And as always, remember that trading commodity futures does involve substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for everyone. Thank you.